And I'm gonna go down in here. You can see the dump there. Go in here and see if I can't find some stuff. This is the first stop of the day. It's coming up here and then it's gonna go that way. See, that's never really getting, that's all froze from, you see where the sun's hitting this. From there up, the ground's froze. I could dig into it, but here it's not just because the sun's hitting it. You can get into places where if the sun's hitting the dump all day, even if it's real cold, you can still dig. See, it's freeze a little. Broken bottle. I'll look around, right in there is where I found that milk yesterday in my video. It's a shame that's break, that would have been a good one. Yeah, see, there's Noxema jars. I'll find a bunch of them, but that's a shame that's break. It's a boot shot glass. I've found them before, but I don't like to have it. Thought up here. See in the shadow, the shade there? That probably won't get the sun all day there. It'll stay froze for a while. Look here. Never seen one of these. It's a charm. Look at it. And it's a baseball bat. What the heck? I've never, you know, that's come in cereal or... A Cracker Jack box. Probably cereal. It's a baseball bat. I love it, folks. Well, never seen one of these. It's just a yellow plastic, kind of rubberized baseball bat charm. Never seen one. It's going to look... I'll show you why I keep this stuff at some point in this video. A big case of stuff like this. Well, I'm just looking all this stuff that's eroding down this bank and look at this man that would a look at the pattern on this and it says james mick my shovel almost went all the way over the hill i'm glad i caught that james mcshaw or swain and co new york made in england that's a shame that's busted well i'm starting in a new spot here i've dug in this area before you can see but that just come out that's an odd bottle it's slick it's beautiful green and look it's got a k on the bottom 1960 it says 1960 k what is that i don't know it's kind of nice Right below this log, I got into a bunch of real nice marbles, swirls, some beautiful masters. So I come up here and I'm punching in here. There's got to be marbles, but my first find's a kook. And it looks really nice. Let me see. The show, it's not a Christmas kook, but see how this one has little pepper dings in it right in there. And there's case wear up here. See it? You can start to see the dinging to it. See it right in there? This bottle's only worth a dollar or two because of that. I found one yesterday that has none of that. It's just mint. That affects the value greatly. Like if I had this for sale, it would be in a dollar box. Later. Well, see, here's one I found a few days ago on that same dump. See how it has none of that? This is a pristine one little bit newer this one's from the 50s that last one was from the 40s but see this one hasn't jostled around in the case and that's you know 10 plus dollars on a place like ebay you could get 20 for that it's the best you could ask for like new well i'm getting down in here found a half of a marble and it's one of them ones that just had to be broke but this will be a perfect example you'll be able to see the inside of a Marble King marble. Look at this beautiful, like, bumblebee. But I'll just clean it up. Mostly white on the inside. The colors just on these Marble Kings. They were all made after 1949. They just put the thin strips of color on the outside because of foreign competition to save money. Yeah, this is a Marble King bumblebee, like. And you can see right on the inside, look at all the white. And look, you can see. Just like an orange peel, like the crust on the earth. Just a thin strip of color. Doesn't look like a mostly white marble, but it is. That's because of foreign competition to cut costs. 
mean, it just raked that out of there. That's in pretty good condition. Come out of that rustle there. It's an old street razor. I'll clean that up, put it with the other ones. I'll take it. Well, I'm in here. And the reason being, just dug that out of there. Look, it still has the gold finish on it. But we'll come over here and all this stuff from the dump that I just got here. And right there, there's some other ones from that dump. So, more razors. That's for sure. Look at all this stuff. I get in to get some good plastic. Some real good plastic in this one. Hope you're enjoying. Well, folks, I have come through, baby. I found similar. I, I think I have another one that's not this one. That's similar. It's like a longer one. I'll see if I can't find that. But, oh, dude, I got a vintage plastic. I think it's a Buddha for the cover image of a video. The marble smalls, I'd rather find this stuff in bottles. You see it? And it looks like marbleized plastic. Oh, yeah. And it's I already picked it up. It ain't broke. That's the base. This this could be Cracker Jack, but what's that say? It's all embossed up. Oh, man, folks. This is a daymaker. I'm doing this from the, video, the standpoint of a filmmaker. Oh, oh, man. Well, folks, this is just a gem. Look at this thing. Swirled marble glass, pinks, teals, and it's a Cracker Jack. Look what it says on the back. Hockey, god of childish mischief. And look at the bottom. Cracker Jack. Oh, man, this is just so awesome. For free from the ground. I can't wait to get up there and cut them roots out, huh? Look in that area, my goodness. Well, here's another one I found on that same dump. It's been a while, several years, but I'll put that one in the frame with it. Little different, but... See? little different but still very cool all right well just that buddha figure it's 1150 i've been here like two hours so i'm gonna go home and eat lunch i'm finding lots of bottles but what i'm running into i'm gonna get into marble city i can't reach back in there there's too many roots i gotta and i don't have my saw so i gotta bring my saw back and what the heck's that look at that live there's another and you can't look that's rusted i'm into the toys that's where that boot will come out man this is cool rusted i'm just gonna because that could break some of this plastic gets brittle we'll take this hand that's even marked on the wings no way i'll sharpen my hand so i'll come in cut all this out and we'll it i'll even bring a hand rake just around these roots there's always stuff like this in there i didn't even see that i would have missed that that's a little gem well this is a little gem too look at it what is that f9f look at it that's so cool it's gonna look good in a little charm case that's a tiny little plane so cool i can't wait to get up there and look in that area well i'll show you a frame of these Here's another one I found on that dump. That's so cool, that witch. I just found this one not long ago. That's a Cracker Jack train. It's even marked Cracker Jack up inside. But I'm going to start another frame. I'll show you the frame I'm working on. Uh, I've got done. It's done now. I'll show you next. Well, that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for for videos on them dumps. The vintage marvels. That's a frame I just put together. I'm working on a new one now. And the plastic toys. See, that's Cracker Jack. There's lots. That's Cracker Jack. There's lots of Cracker Jack pieces in there. And hopefully I can find some more up there when I cut them roots out. Later. You know, we got this little bat here. And I got my buddy, Hannes Wagner, up here on my, my shoulder. It's about the right size for you. I'm gonna throw him some balls out here. We'll see, see if Squirrel Man's got some talent. Look here, folks. Climbing all over everything. What a dandy. What a dandy. Look here, folks. There's a knot right there for you. You're going right by it. Look, he rubbed himself. It's like the squirrel carpet 
on the moss there. And then he sniffs the air a little bit. You sniffing the air for other squirrels? Huh? Cure fakes. He's full of energy, that's for sure. This little guy. All right, I hope you enjoyed. I cannot wait to get back there and see if there's more little toys. Look here, you got him a nut there already. He's eating him some, eating some moss, buddy. <laughs> Look at this little maniac. 